Today we're in the second day of our full-scale exercise at Tech Warrior, and right now the Warriors are having the opportunity to really experience ongoing scenarios. They are trying to exploit and turn Fairborn populace onto their side. They're facing the red team, the opposition force. Today they're having to treat patients who are victims of an auto accident. They're having to deal with crowds, but it's just that op final opportunity to, in real time, deal with the skills that they've been taught while they've been here. Directly confront this. Over. Our tech warrior actually started way back in 2001. We've been doing it for a number of years, but this is the third year that we brought it here to the Miami Valley and to here to Wright State and to the uh, National Center of Medical Readiness. What makes this year uh, special, we really brought a number of companies and organizations that were coming out to do testing of technology, and we put a larger focus. Map it into a see-through display on small businesses and giving them uh, access to this type of operational environment. And by doing that, we're trying to accelerate their innovation. There's a very nice technical infrastructure here that resides here, so that as small businesses want to come out and test, uh, they can uh, have that infrastructure in place. They have the Wi-Fi, they have camera systems in place. In very rapid time, they can come out here, try a prototype, try a concept, and get immediate feedback. We have the opportunity to design the, uh, the scenarios. We have the opportunity to provide the instructors and just to give these uh, technical warriors, if you will, an experience that they'll never forget. We got two individuals in the picture. There's been a number of great things that have come out of Tech Warrior over the we years. Click south. And, and, and the, the small businesses using this as sort of an incubator, a lot of them have moved on to having their technology used in, in other places.